Okay, the bearing's definitely wrong. When I, uh, it drives in here, fits, but the difference is with this bearing, if you look across where my finger's at right here, it's flat. So when it drives down in there like that, there's no lateral wobble or anything like that. It doesn't do that. It's flat across there, so it sits in there real nice. That's the old bearing. Here's what they sold me. Now, let's see if the camera can pick that cam up. Look, right across there, right there, it's not flat. It's got a slight cam on it. So when it went down in the hole, it was a snug fit, but the bearing had the tendency to do that in that hole. And because the dimension on this bearing, and I'm gonna measure it and get precise about it. Yeah, that's 600 and right at 28 thousandths of an inch. And this one, Yeah, that's 710 thousandths of an inch. So that's quite a bit of difference there, folks. <laughs> so, dagnabbit, I can't finish putting this back together today and feel good about it. Got to go try to chase down the right bearing. Oh, well. I think I can give you a demo on how that locking collar works, though. We can go up to the shaft back on the combine and take a look at that. Okay, what I'm going to show you is when you take this bearing and slide it on that shaft like that, when you turn it, you see how the inside race is turning right there? And I'm, I'm, I've got my finger on the outside race, and the inside race is what's turning. Now, you would, you know, you'd have this bearing in the correct assembly and you get the position that you wanted on the shaft. Now, I need to step around the other side and I hope I can talk loud enough so the microphone will pick it up, but I'll show you what this actually does. Let's say that's where I wanted the bearing right there, and there's the set screw. And the trick is, I'd love to have that set screw somewhere over here instead of down there. <laughs> That'd be real annoying. And this back one, that's going to be a trick. I haven't quite got that figured out yet. But you take this and slide it on, and it mates up right there where it dropped in. Now, I'm going to turn it that way. It would lock. I feel the resistance on it. But I'm going to rotate the whole thing this way. Now, since this thing is turning that way in normal operation, the bearing here is going to be turning that way and if there's ever a resistance built up inside of the bearing it's going to want to take the inside race and cause it to turn that way which is counterclockwise so i want to lock this thing by turning that locking collar that way and i still don't have resistance yet so i'm going to rotate the whole thing around this way and right there is where it got hand tight. Not to slip past it again. You can't really see it, but I can see it and realize that I've got enough right here that I've grabbed the inside race. And because this is slightly off center, eccentric, it has bound the race against the shaft. It's just slightly. If it was really off center, you'd bind the bearing up so bad it wouldn't work right. But that's how that collar works. Now, I just got it hand tight. So you take a punch and there's the punch hole and tap it on around this way to really lock it in. And then take an Allen wrench and set that screw. Don't rely on that screw, get this thing truly locked. But that's how it works. And now locked, I'm pushing that way it won't go. I'm, well, darn it, won't lock tight. All right, let's see. A little tighter this time. All right, 
there you go see i'm taking my fingers and pulling taking my thumbs and pushing i can't bring it to me i didn't have it truly locked good and tight a while ago you just like i said take a punch and tap it to get it truly locked and that's how that works that whole thing was a mystery to me until i got into this repair now because i didn't set it i can turn it backwards and pull it right off like that that's your eccentric locking collar now i can catch a visual on this and i can see how this hole is slightly off centered and we could go back down there with the calipers and measure it and see how much but that's how it works well i gotta go back to wilson tomorrow and see if I can get the right bearings because I'm not putting it back together with the wrong bearings. Hey everybody, thanks for watching.